Should Election Day be declared a national holiday? Welcome back to Debated. In today's video, we'll be discussing both the benefits a national election day could bring, as well as the concerns that people have regarding it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, let's get on to the video. To start off, let's discuss why people support making election day a national holiday. One of the main reasons people support the idea of election day being a national holiday is that they believe it will increase voter turnout. Right now, the US has very low voter turnout rates in comparison to other countries in the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, otherwise known as OECD, ranking 26 out of 32 countries. Yikes, right? This angers a lot of US citizens who actively vote in every election, as the more people that vote, the greater chance that their candidate would win. The only way for democracy to be successful is if its citizens are active in it. By declaring election day a national holiday, people will have the day off work. This allows someone with a busy schedule the time to vote if they didn't previously have it, increasing voter turnout. Some people also claim that making election day a national holiday will make voting feel like more of a celebration instead of a chore. For example, right now there is no kind of celebration when election day comes around, just voting centers with ballots waiting to be filled out, making voting feel more like an office job. Therefore, for people who aren't very political, voting just feels like another chore added to their list of things to do, resulting in lower voter turnout rates. If election day were to become a national holiday, however, voting would likely be celebrated through parades and parties, as people have the whole day off. This would make voting feel a lot more exciting, and according to Donald Green PhD, Burgess Professor of Political Science at Columbia increased voter turnout between 2.6 to 4 percentage points. Now, all of this sounds great and all, but there are major disadvantages when it comes to making Election Day a national holiday. One of the main reasons people don't support Election Day becoming a national holiday is that it will disadvantage low-income and blue-collar workers. Remember how previously we mentioned that the time off of work would give people more time to work? Well, federal law doesn't require private employers to give employees paid federal holidays. This would be detrimental to low-income families who might have needed the day of pay to pay rent that week. Not only that, but Annie McDonald, editor of Berkeley Public Policy Journal, says that workers that are least likely to be paid are those who already had less of a voice in the political process. So instead of helping people who have less of a political voice vote and be part of the election, making election day a national holiday would just be hurting them in the process. Many people who are against making election day a national holiday also argue that there are much more reliable solutions when it comes to increasing voter turnout. For example, automatic voter registration. Automatic voter registration results in additional 22 million people being registered to vote and creates 7.9 million additional voters per year, all while not negatively affecting our lower class population. That's it for this debated video. Do you think election day should be made into a national holiday? Leave a comment and tell us down below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.